welcome to Hack It Out. Today I'm going to do a review over the movie Interstellar by Christopher Nolan. Now I know this movie came out almost two months ago, but I'm going to do my review over it anyway because I really enjoyed the movie and I want to talk about my thoughts on it. So Interstellar is a movie about the future of mankind where Earth has gotten to the point where it's almost uninhabitable and so mankind has to find a way to survive. They have to go past Earth and figure out where there's a planet where we can maybe eventually colonize and get off of Earth. So I'm not going to do any spoilers in this review. I'm going to try to be as spoiler free as I can and it's going to be a quick review. So first of all I really liked that this movie tackles uh, real issues that could possibly face the human race in the future. And so for that I give 50 points to Interstellar. Another thing that I really liked about the movie is that it did a, it did a really good job of portraying space travel and other scientific theories such as wormholes and black holes and time dilation. It does a great job of portraying that. Uh, something that we haven't really quite seen this capacity on, this, on the big screen yet. So I really like that. And for that I give the movie 30 points. Now this movie is more in the genre it's more of a drama while I, I would consider it a sci-fi drama I think it does a really good job of hitting those dramatic moments and the acting is really good in this movie i would never really been a big fan of Matthew McConaughey but I thought that he nailed his part in this movie and Anne Hathaway did a great job Christopher Nolan is a great director and I love all of his movies and so for the good acting the directing and just overall staying within the genre I give this movie 40 points so those are my good points for the movie. Now, unfortunately, every movie is going to have some bad points. Now, the movie is a little bit lengthy. It's not too lengthy to where I think it really becomes a hindrance to the movie. But if I had to find something to say bad about the movie, I would say it's just a little bit lengthy. So for that, I'm only going to take away maybe about four points I'm going to take off. There were a few moments that I felt like were kind of shoehorned in the movie just for the sake of showing how one thing works or how another thing works it doesn't really it didn't really flow well with the story I didn't think so for a moment I felt shoehorned in the movie I'm gonna take about eight points off of that and finally to me the ending is what really makes a movie I mean you can have a great movie for an hour and a half but if those last 20 or 30 minutes aren't very good then that kills the whole movie for me this movie wasn't like that. I thought that it had a great ending. However, some people could see it as being just a little bit complicated because it really does get a little into your brain a little bit with the science and you really start to wonder like, oh, how's that really working? And I just think that they kind of started to trail a little bit at the end. Now, I really enjoyed it. Maybe for the sake of how somebody else might see it, I'm going to go ahead and take off, I'm going to say about 12 points for that. So all in all, Interstellar gets 96 points for me, and I give this movie an A. So for that, I think that if you have not seen Interstellar, I definitely recommend going and seeing it. I'm definitely going to buy it as soon as it comes out. And if you have seen Interstellar, go watch it again. It's a great movie, and uh, I look forward to seeing what Christopher Nolan brings out next. Thanks for watching my review. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, and we will be uploading more movie reviews and game reviews in the future. So I'll see you guys next time.